G'day, I'm Drew from Gringo Productions, and today we're going to be looking at how to get this image and turn it into this image. So obviously we have a more uh, contrasty and saturated image, but now we have more focus on this area, which is the important area of the shot. So this was shot on a Blackmagic Pocket 4K at ProRes 422. Um, I shot it for a charity. I knew I'd be shooting all day, so I wanted to use a compressed footage to save on space. But I probably could have shot using Blackmagic RAW because it is a very space saving format, amazingly. You can download this footage if you like. It's on my website, links below. Alrighty, so the first thing we want to do is a quick white balance. Let's bring up our scopes and we'll just even it out a bit. And get those mid similar. Looks pretty good. Bring down the blacks about there. And let's have a quick check. So whites are good, nice and even. Blacks look pretty good. And mids look pretty good too. Okay, so let's add some contrast and we'll do it using the curves. So bring this down, bring it up a little bit. I'm gonna go too crazy on it. Add a little bit more saturation. Okay, so let's make a new node, Alt S on the windows. And let's make a power window around our object and soften it right up. Looks pretty good. Now we're going to do everything outside. So come down here. So now everything affected will be outside this little circle. So let's add some contrast using the curves. Bring it down a little bit. So I'm just softening it right up. Take a bit of saturation out. And now coming to our temperature, let's bring it down. And then let's add some color. So let's go to our gamma and bring that down just a little bit. Let's go to our curves. And we're going to add a little bit of blue into the shadows. And then we're going to take some red out. We'll go to the green. And add a little bit of green in there. That's soft. Okay. So that's looking pretty good. And then what we're going to do, we're going to start building this up a little bit more to have a little more of a contrast to the outer images. So let's make a new node. Alt O. And this will be an outside node. So now it's in the opposite of what we just did. So let's make this pop. So bring down the shadows and bring up the highs. Maybe a little too much in the shadows. So that looks pretty good. I need to make this a little bit brighter, but that's okay for now. So that's before, that's after our adjustment. So let's warm up this image, this area here. So we're going to go up, the opposite of what we did before. This will give us nice contrast. And let's bring some of those shadows up. And then in the shadows, let's add a little bit of green. So what we're going to do is add that green, and then we're going to push in orange in the highlights. This is really going to make that writing stick out. So before, and after, so that looks pretty good. Now we'll just sharpen up a little bit. So we go down. So that's looking good. Now I would say, let's bring this door down a bit and uh, let's make a power window around here. And then what we can do is come into our curves and we'll go to the third one, hue versus saturation and select red. Just bring that down a bit. So this helps us to focus our eye onto this object and not this object. Because the brightest object or the most saturated object in the scene is the place your eye will automatically go. So let's make another new parallel node, Alt-P. And let's bring this up. So use the qualifier and let's select the writing. And then Shift-H and bring it out a bit. 
I'll make a power window around it using our old friend's squiggly line. Like that. And then bring that some more. Maybe get rid of this part. Since we know the object isn't moving, we can be very select in what we're doing. Bring down the lows, take the width up a bit more, bring up the highs, and then the lows, and then blur it right out, and clean it up with the whites. Cool. Now let's go to saturation, shift H, and bring that up, and then let's go to our curves, and bring up the writing even more. So we're creating contrast in our writing, a little too saturated. So, something like, something like that, and then we'll come across and we'll sharpen it up. Because obviously we want that to be the focus of what people are seeing. Now let's make a new node, Alt-P. So in this new node, let's add some more saturation in. And then let's warm it up. So come down to 2 and add some more in the temperature. So that's looking pretty good. I think we can add a little bit more saturation here though. So I'll just add a little bit more. So I think that's a little too much saturation, so bring it out. And let's bring it down a little bit. And even cool it down a bit more. And then let's bring this up. And also take some saturation out. I don't know why I keep putting it back in. Okay, so we've made those couple little changes to our final image. As you can see, our image is far more saturated, a lot more contrast. Our focus is on this area here, not everything around. We have a more vintagey type of look, which suits the um, theme of the event. That looks really good. And it really wasn't like a huge amount of change. It's just a couple little things to make your image stand out a bit more. So just on another note, I'm traveling at the end of November to mid-January. So there will be no more uploads, obviously, in that time period. But then once I get back, I will be uploading a lot more. And I may or may not bring my camera with me. Um, if I do, I'll get some amazing footage, which I can share. But we will see. So I've been Drew from Gringo Productions. And have a great day.